कुमार सामी नायक है बोम वाली को लटो का रेडियो फीजी टू में पुराना गाना लगे हमें बहुत अच्छा लगे रेडियो फीजी टू देश की धड़कन इन दिस बुलेटिन कंसेशनल लोन एप्लीकेशन नंबर्स रिवील्ड स्टूडेंट्स टोल टू रिपोर्ट बैक टू स्कूल एंड ओवर 5000 गो थ्रू बॉर्डर क्वारंटीन स्टूडियोस ऑफ एफबीसी सुवा Atera Lendu The Business Assistance Fiji panel will process around 4000 applications for the COVID-19 concessional loan by the end of this week. Minister for Economy Ayan Said Kayum revealed this in parliament while delivering his ministerial statement on unemployment assistance. The minister says more than 9000 applications have been received for the concessional loan. The initiative has been designed to help businesses struggling with the effects of COVID-19. We will see a total injection of approximately 60 million dollars over a period of time to these micro, small and medium enterprises. Predominantly the applications are from the micro enterprise sector, which means a lot of people who were self-employed will be able to reignite their businesses. A lot of people who have become unemployed want to get into businesses. and of course small and medium enterprises have asked for cash flow uh, uh, concessional funding which means they'll continue to run their business and be able to continue to employ people the ministry of education has urged ratu kandabule with school students to return to school and resume normal classes students were sent home last friday following a protest they staged regarding a dispute with school executives ministry officials are currently at the school to mediate and resolve the issue and is urging students to remain calm maintain discipline and focus on what is more what is most important for their future The ministry says it will not condone indiscipline and bullying tactics and if students have a genuine issue they must follow the channels with the ministry so that a proper investigation is carried out. Parents are also urged to ensure students return to school while teachers are advised to remain committed to their supervisory and teaching duties. The reduction in liquefied petroleum gas price and that of some petrol will ease the burden for thousands of Fijians struggling during the, this COVID-19 pandemic. The FCCC highlighted that changes in the international prices saw positive changes in local pricing of motor spirit and premix. Kerosene will see the biggest jump increasing from 91 cents per liter to $1.5. The drop in price for unleaded petrol to $1.95 per litre will be a welcome news for many drivers. Premix will also decrease from $1.61 to $1.58 per litre. However, diesel will increase from $1.63 to $1.64 per litre. Meanwhile, the drop in LPG price for a 4.5 kg cylinder drops from $11.54 to $11.41. A 12 kg cylinder will sell at 3042 a reduction of 37 cents while a 13 kg cylinder goes from $33.35 to $32.95 bulk gas price remains the same at $2.13 per kg and auto gas price stays at $1.43 per liter More than 5000 Fijians have gone through our border quarantine process since it started in March. With 4 months left in the year, Health Minister Dr. Remi Wangaina Bete says more Fijians are expected to cross our borders. He says Fiji continues to receive repatriation flights and no one is exempted from the quarantine procedures in place. We have a duty of care uh, because they are our people and uh, we have to be ready to the fact that um, If we do have somebody with the COVID-19, there's a border quarantine case, then we have a mechanisms in place to be able to look after them. The Fiji Red Cross today received a donation of sanitary kits for women in rural and maritime areas. The donation was made by the Commonwealth Women Parliament. 
Parliamentarians Fiji Group. Speaking at the handover, Fiji Red Cross Director General Elisa Pevi Rokutunindao says the sanitary kits will be distributed to women in islands that were severely affected by COVID-19 and tropical cyclone Harold. Rokutunindao adds that during disasters or emergencies, women concentrate more on the needs of the family than their own needs, and this donation will help women immensely. We are looking at areas uh, that we are working a lot in, uh, which is in uh, the four areas that have been devastated by T.C. Uh, Harold, Botulele, Rotuma, uh, and uh, Matuku, and Kandavu, um, up to the island of Ono. And also, uh, there are a lot of women who have been affected uh, through COVID-19. COVID-19 does not seem to be slowing down in India. This, as India reported, the biggest single-day jump in coronavirus infections of any nation in the pandemic. Up ahead, finishing worry from Bambasinga Lions. And two straight wins in the north for Ovalau. Bula FM, number two and a Bula FM, number two and The Lombasa football side will need to take a different approach if they seek to win their upcoming Vodafone Premier League matches. This is according to head coach Ranil Lal after the side went down to Flo Vav's Suva 1-3 in their VPL clash yesterday. Lal says the players failed to listen to instructions given and did not execute their game plan well. Our strikers need to wake up. Our finishing is the main issue we have. Uh, despite so many attempts made by us in training, I think so. we have to take a bit different approach now. And it's all about uh, coming together and working hard. The Ovalau rugby side aims to change its attitude this year, and the change is starting to bear fruit. The side recorded their second win in Vanua Levu over the weekend after beating Madhuwata 11-6. They defeated Thakaunrove 10-7 a week earlier. Overall, team manager Ame Baletamabua believes they are accomplishing their mission in the north with two wins thanks to the players' discipline. Well, our main secret was uh, discipline. Actually, we shared this uh, settlement of what will carry up, carry the team up to 100% level that we need. So we taught them uh, the only word that will take this uh, place to 100% level is attitude. So that was our main motto, attitude and uh, discipline comes after. The Fiji National Rugby League and the Kaiviti Silk Tales are keeping their eyes peeled for promising secondary school students taking part in the Vodafone Cup competition. FNRL Interim Chief Executive Don Natambe says part of the agenda this season is to scout for talent and groom potential players for the next Kaiviti Silk Tales and Fiji Mbati squad. Two teams from Lutoka that had uh, secondary school students playing in, the, in those teams. I think it was the Saro Dragons. So uh, definitely we're looking out for those talents. Natambe says it's promising to see the growing interest in the sport from secondary school students. The FNRL Storm consolidated second spot with a tough 36 win over the Sea Eagles last night. Justin Ollam scored a hat-trick while Josh Adoka uh, Aroka uh, grabbed a double, pardon me. A trough of low pressure remains slow moving over the group. We can expect sunny periods mixed with occasional cloudy and showers, clouds and showers, associated cloud and showers, especially in the east. And that's your FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. In times of crisis, you need news you can trust. Get the verified facts from FBC's TV, radio and digital news, fbcnews.com.fj, keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Enjoy your lunch. I'm from Lotoka and I love Gold FM because they play all my classic hits. Gold FM.
Only the classic hits.